Hey folks, James Tracy, MemoryHoleBlog.com. You know, this is something that I have really seldom, if ever, done, is actually sit down with you and record a video, kind of a fireside chat, if you will. Uh, the way that we've generally communicated at Memory Hole Blog has been through essays, it's been through posts. I'd like to change that by actually having a one-on-one -on -one with you uh, and talk about what's going on, you know, more recently. It's very interesting what's taken place in the past few days. As the New York Times reports, Indiana University has chosen not to fire a faculty member one of its professors because it had he had conservative, you know, abhorrent, politically incorrect views. And so the provost came out and said, we're not going to fire this guy. We're going to respect the First Amendment. It's what took place at Florida Atlantic University back in 2013 when there was a different president, Mary Jane Saunders. And it's, it's the exact opposite of what took place in 2015 with a different president that used a pretext to fire me because of the speech on my blog, memoryholeblog.com, as well as the attendant social media outlets on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, they used the pretext of you gotta fill out these forms because your blog is essentially employment and so you have to let us know about that. Never mind the fact that there are plenty of other faculty members, probably better than 50%, that have Facebook pages, that have Twitter accounts and things of the like. You have to report this to us. Why? Well, because we're well aware of the speech. We don't agree with it, and we want to have the opportunity to censor it. Now, this is what ultimately took place with Tracy V. FAU, and uh, we have appealed it. It is now before the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. We have no idea what will actually take place, what will transpire. But um, that said, there was a great uh, you know, videographer, filmmaker, that came down here to South Florida in spring of 2018 and did you know, several hours of interviews with myself, with the Tracy VFAU legal team, Louis Leo, Matthew Benzion, uh, as well as uh, Tony Mead, who's a well-known, uh, you know, social media personality and what have you, uh, and um, and this this guy is Peter Klein, and he did these, you know, he did this, he had this fantastic idea of putting together a documentary, and it's just not gelled. But we really do want for that footage to come out because it presents a totally different perspective on Tracy v. FAU that has not been articulated by anyone. Certainly not the major news media, certainly not the Palm Beach Post, you know, the Sun Sentinel, the Miami Herald, the, the attendance uh, broadcast news outlets, the television news here. They've just presented FAU side. They just presented the FAU legal team side that I am a deviant. I was the professor who rebelled, who didn't fill out the paperwork. And the fact is, no faculty member at FAU or any other Florida public university fills out this paperwork, right? I was singled out. Anyway, this is just fantastic revealing footage of different perspectives of a very complex uh, legal case that uh, is still unfolding at the appeals level. And I think that story is something that really needs to be told. So we're going to be releasing um, you know, snippets of that over the next several weeks. So please do stay tuned for that. I think you'll find it very exciting. The stuff has been expertly, uh, you know, uh, videotaped and filmed, and uh, I'm looking forward to it uh, as well. So with that said, that's, you know, really more or less the update for now. We'll try to keep you apprised of, of what's transpiring at Memory Hole Blog and you know, related free speech issues and things of the like. 
and uh, we do appreciate all of your support and interest. Thanks very much. This is James Tracy for mhbmarketholeblog.com.